welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I am super excited to share with you this makeup tutorial using a bunch of Primark makeup products. So this is the first palette that we're going to go into. This is the Urban Eyeshadow Palette and it was £4 which is a total bargain. This is what it looks like inside. It's all very very bright and I must say packaging of the Primark makeup they are doing so well. Plus, they're wrapping it so well in all this plastic, which means it's more difficult for people to test it out in the shops. Because if there's one thing I hate about Primark makeup, it's that whenever you go, you can't find any because they've all been dipped into and tested, so it's not really hygienic to buy. I'm going into this colour here, which is a gorgeous... Oh, I just stuck my nail in it which is a lovely pinky salmon shade. It's quite powdery, but quite a lot of the Primark palettes are. Can you see that? This colour is going to go just above the crease and just below the brow bone. Wow, that is very pigmented. I'm not entirely sure of the exact look I'm going for, but I do think I want to use like a bluey purple colour because that is like the main colours in the other palette that I'm going to use. I'm just actually dragging that product down into the crease as well, just so we've got a transition shade. And then I'm going to take this gorgeous kind of fudgy brownie caramel colour. Same brush. Oh my god, look at the pigmentation of that. Primark just pulls it out of the bag all the time, I tell you. They're so, so good. That's going to go through the crease as well. Wow. Pigmented. Okay, now that that's done, I am taking a smaller fluffy brush. And I think I'm going to brave it and go in with this bright blue shade. It's kind of shouting out to me. Not sure if I'm going to regret this, but I mean, this is a bright palette, so I have to go for it, guys. I'm going to put this in my crease. And hopefully it doesn't turn muddy and dirty looking. I'm just putting it in the outer crease first of all, blending it out, and then I'm going to go in and put it into the inner part of the crease. I think this colour needs built up. So when you put it on and start to blend, it kind of blends away. So you do need to put a couple of layers of this colour on. And also, it's not really coming up on the eye, the same colour in the pan. Like, it kind of looks like a tealy blue on the eye, but in the pan, it looks a very bright blue. Just to blend out this blue, because it's a little bit too harsh now, I'm taking this orange colour. Just kind of blend out the edges. This is going to be a very bright and colourful look. Again, I'm going to go in with that blue colour and just put it back into the crease with a smaller fluffy brush just because it goes a little bit lighter the more that you blend it out. Now that that's on, the eyelid is looking a little bit messy, so we are going to do a cut crease. So just use whatever concealer you have. I'm just using um, a Makeup Revolution concealer. But just cut your crease with a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to do one at a time just now, but obviously you can still see a little hint of the green just above the cut crease and then we're going to put a little bit more in once we've put the lid shades down. And for the lid shades we're going to be using this palette, so this is the after party palette, this was £4.50, again packaging is beautiful, and this is what it looks like on the inside, very holographic which I absolutely love and the colours are so mermaidy. I really love them. So on a flat little spongy applicator, I'm going to take this shade here, really packing that on, and I'm going to pop that onto this outer half. Oh my god. I didn't expect that to be as pigmented as it was. And the inner half. That is so pretty, really pigmented, it's really pretty. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush and use this darker purple shade. That is going to go just here. Just to kind of darken that up a little bit. I'm also going to put it into the inner as well. If you go over the lighter purple shade too much, don't worry about it. You can just take a little bit more powder and blend it back through. And then for the middle, I am going to take this shade. Oh, I should I take this one? Let's swatch them. So this is the middle one and this is the side. They look like this. This one's very light, this light one here. Don't know if you would even see that. I think I'm just going to take the light purple one and apply it with my finger. That's probably the best way. 
and just kind of pack it on just for a nice like highlight in the middle of the lid. Through the crease, I'm going to take this kind of teal blue colour instead of going in back to the other palette. Ooh. I am going for it with this look today guys. It's going to all turn out well in the end. I wasn't even recording! For some reason I stopped recording but basically hopefully you've seen this um, I put this shade here through my crease because I didn't really actually like the cut crease after all I kind of like the look more blended so yeah I did that and now I am going to go off camera and use liquid liner and um, I'm going to do this eye off camera as well and then I'll come back to test a primer mascara okay so now that I'm done that we are going to move on to mascara this is the Splash Pro waterproof mascara I thought the packaging on this was pretty cool because it kind of looks like a lipstick wand so yeah it was only one pound just from two I don't know if I can expect a lot of good things from it considering it's so cheap but you never know um, whilst I'm trying to get this packaging off the eyeshadow palettes I would say the after party one which was like the mermaid day the little square blue one it had quite a lot of fallout but the shades were kind of foil day pigmented so it's to be expected there's also no matte shades in that palette so you do need to have another palette with it or you're just going to have shimmer all over your lid which is not really the best um, so that kind of green colour that I put in the crease is kind of shimmery so I'm not loving the eye look but it might just be because it's a little different for me so yeah fingers crossed we can make it work with mascara and the rest of the makeup so this is what the wand looks like oh it's actually quite a fat wand it looks quite nice doesn't have any particularly weird smell or anything and it does seem like quite a dry mascara which is good because that is what a waterproof mascara is meant to be it's meant to be quite a dry formula so that it's not heavy on your lashes is it too dry i feel like nothing's going on i can hardly see it maybe it just needs built up in a couple more coats you can't see much of a difference between this eye and this eye um, I don't think I'm in love with this, I'll probably not use it again, but I might as well just put it on this side too. And then I think what I'll do is just go off camera and apply my normal mascara. Well, that was really difficult to put mascara on top of that other mascara because it went quite crispy and hard. Like most waterproof mascaras do do that um, and then it was all difficult to put my mascara on. So now my lashes are a little bit crispy. And also I've noticed the centre part of my eye seems to have blended away. So I wouldn't use that shade as like a like an all over colour. Maybe use it in the inner corner of your eye or under your brow bone as like a highlight but I definitely don't think it's pigmented enough or bold enough to go as a like a one all over colour if that makes any sense. Foundation time. This is the My Perfect Colour Moisturising Foundation Stick. This was £2.50 and mine, mine, mine is in the shade. What shade are you? Nude Beige. It's a Buildable Coverage Velvet Finish Vitamin E Foundation. I'm totally not a pro at a stick foundation, so I don't actually know how much to put on. Well, this looks like quite a good colour for me, actually. Like, is that a bit too much? Who knows? It feels very moisturising. <laughs> I think that's too much. I'm going to go in with a foundation brush first and see what that does and if it doesn't blend it out I'll go in with a sponge oh it's working guys it's working mm. oh my god what a perfect colour match that is I think anyway you can always tell how good a foundation is by how well it goes on your nose because most people have quite a dry nose and so far it's not too bad I'm just going to blend it in with a beauty blender now. Um, sorry, this is not a beauty blender. You know what this is. It works really, really well with the beauty blender. And yes, I would agree that it is buildable coverage because I've just put an extra layer on underneath my eyes because I've not got a concealer from Primark. So we're just going to use this as like our concealer. Oh, the blending struggle is real. My nose is going a little bit dry so I'm just going to give my face a little scoosh with the primer water. Let it sink in and then I'm going to blend again. 
I actually really like the coverage, except from on my nose. But do you know what? A lot of foundations don't look that good on my nose. I've just got a funny nose, haven't I? Overall, I really am actually impressed with that foundation. I've just powdered my face and look, it set really well. I do think you do need to powder it all down though because that would not have set down itself. I'm going to bronze using the chocolate palette. I picked up some of this range and I did a video and I used this colour here, which is called Milk Chocolate, to contour. Today I am going to use it to bronze up my face, so I might as well just use this on camera. I'm just going to use the viewfinder guys, please do not mind that. It's always quite annoying when people use the viewfinder but oh, this has not got a mirror on the front and it's quite annoying. It's just annoying having to hold another palette especially when you do this. Obviously if you don't do tutorials you're probably just going to use your dressing table mirror or whatnot. But yeah, I do wish this had a mirror on it. Look like we should finish up the eyes. Not really sure what shade to take. I'm kind of thinking just to put this all along the lower lash line because I like how when my eyes are open you're just seeing a little bit of the pop of the green or mint or whatever you want to call this colour. Yeah, let's do that first and if we want to add anything then obviously we can do that. I always say we because I just feel like you are here with me. Putting your makeup on at the same time I am. How cool would that be? I wonder if um any makeup person has ever like done a meet up not that i would do a meet up because well no one would come <laughs> i wonder if any huge youtuber who is a makeup artist or like a beauty channel has done a meet up where all they do is like people just bring their makeup and they just all get ready together that would be quite fun actually i'd probably go to one of those i like that but I feel like there's something missing i do feel like we're gonna have to put some sort of purple in there too so why don't we do, I'm going to do the purple, the dark one that I put on the outer corners of kind of like the halo eye. There's so much looks you can do with these palettes, they're really universal. I'm just going to take some mascara now and pop that on the bottom lashes. On to blush, this is the Pure Blush palette. Um, I don't think this has got a shade, has it? No, no shade. This was £5 and it says Matte and Shimmer Blush Palette. So inside, it looks like this. I've not used it yet. Well, actually, I swatched that one in the shop. Um, but yeah, it's still got the plastic on it. As you can see, it's very powdery. It's just been sitting in my shopping bag for a while. Again, the packaging is so, so nice. They really have done well with the packaging of these new products. So this... This is not a blush to me, this is definitely a highlighter. So we're going to try that first of all. But let me tell you, when I swatched this in the shop, I was really surprised. It was really nice, so I'm quite excited to put this on. Oh! I don't remember it being that pigmented. Oh my god, I can't... Oh my god, what am I going to do? Right, I need to take some of this off. Jesus, that is super, super bright. Is that a little bit too bright though? Oh yeah. Just trying to blend it out a little bit so it's not so much of a harsh line. Oh my god, that is so pigmented. That is really nice though. Okay, moving on. Blusher time. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called In the Pink. It kind of just looks like a nice dusty, rosy pink colour. Apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. Oof, this is really pigmented as well. Definitely be careful with that palette, guys. You do not want to put that much pigment on your skin. Okay, perfect. That's that. And now let's do the lips. So this is the last product I have to try today. And this is lipstick here. I thought purple would look super cool with the eyes because I did know in the shop that I wanted to do purple. So this is the PS Amethyst Glaze Holographic Lip Gloss. This it was £2 reduced to £1. Hopefully this is nothing like the mascara because if it is, it's going to be rubbish. The reduced mascara was rubbish. Hopefully this lip gloss is not rubbish. It's not as purple as I thought it would be. I guess at the end of the day it is holographic and when you turn like this you can kind of see the purple. Um, yeah, basically this is the finished look. I actually really like the way it's turned out. 
I don't love the lip gloss. I mean, I'm not a fan. I'll probably not use it again, to be honest with you. Or maybe I'll try it as like a topper. Um, I don't love the mascara, but both of the eyeshadow palettes were really good. And that blush palette, I mean, come on guys, this highlight. Oh my god, that was amazing. But definitely need a light hand. It's turned out quite a nice makeup look. I'll wait till I scoosh. Can't forget the scoosh. Dry, dry. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below and click the little bell notification. I'm really pleasantly surprised at the makeup, I love the way the makeup look has turned out, it's totally different for me but I did see that this was the year I would try something different so I'm really pleased with it. Please let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what other videos you would like to see soon on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time in another video. Bye!